Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to make another series. This time we are going to make blue bubble tea series. Because it's blue, I'm matching the color of my drinks with my t-shirt today. Blue. So, for those of you that do not know what makes your drinks blue, very simple. It is using natural ingredients in the form of butterfly pea. Now this is butterfly pea dried flowers and this is so amazing because it only adds color and also benefits to your drinks. Butterfly pea is good for the skin and good for the hair. So it has lots of antioxidants which can make your drinks not only look beautiful but also more healthy. So for your drinks you can use dried butterfly pea which you can soak in water for about 10 minutes to get that very very bright vibrant blue color or you can use a ready-made 100% butterfly pea powder and this one you just dissolve in hot water and you put it in your drinks. So for today I am going to use this one because this is more easily accessible and easier to get. So remember you can use pure or dried butterfly pea flowers or you can use something which is in the form of powder but make sure your powder is made of natural ingredients. So, because we are going to make milk tea, and some of you have asked me to make some non-dairy milk tea, that is exactly what I'm going to show you today. This time, we are going to use a French press to brew our tea, and I'm going to use my blend of Taiwanese or Assam black tea. I am going to need 150 ml of brewed black tea, for that, I am going to use one heaping scoop of my Assam black tea. This fresh press is about 320 ml. I only need about 150, so I'm just putting about half of this French press. I'm going to give it a bit of a stir so that the tea will be fully infused in our French press and then wait for about 10 minutes before we push the plunger in. Okay, so whilst we are waiting for our tea to brew, let us make our other ingredients. The recipe for the butterfly pea powder is we use 1 4 teaspoon for every 1 ounce of hot water. But because we are going to make three drinks, I am going to make three proportions or three portions for this one. So I am going to put three of the one four teaspoons. So that's um, let's get one, two, three. And for every sixteen ounce cup, which we are going to make today. All you need is to dissolve this butterfly pea powder in one ounce of hot water. So I'm going to put about three ounces or 90 ml of hot water into this measuring cup, which I'm going to split into three later. Now because we are going to make bubble tea, I have here my mini boba. I like mini boba, it's a lot easier to chew. So we are going to use this later and we'll start with our first drink which is the unicorn latte. Unicorn is red and blue. For the red you can use strawberry but this time I am going to use my Thai salad which is a beautiful red and when it's combined with milk it turns into a beautiful pink. For this I am going to use 30 ml of my Thai salad. So each pump is 10 ml. I just wanted to make sure. So 30 ml of Thai salad into my cup. And then I am going to make this drink really tasty by adding just a little bit of my milk syrup. This one is a combination of sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk. So this just makes it so rich. All I need here is half an ounce or 15 ml of the milk syrup. 
So there you go, add it into there. And because this is a latte, I'm going to add milk, which is two ounces of fresh milk. There you go. And we have your red part of your blue latte. Let's give this a stir. Put my sinkers at the bottom and just a little bit, just one scoop of our mini boba. There you go. And we are ready to put our rice into this drink. But before that, let me put it aside. Now let's make our blue passion fruit. For this, I am going to use, again, ready-made passion fruit puree. So similarly, we are going to use one ounce or 30 ml of our passion fruit puree. So let's put it there. You can use any brand or you can use any flavor that you have. So 30 ml of passion fruit puree. And once again, to make this a rich drink, I'm going to add 15 ml or half an ounce of the milk syrup. Very similar to our Thai sala. And then two ml of fresh milk. So we should be able to get something yellow. There you go. And then, once again, I'm going to put my sinkers at the bottom. And you have, like, it looks a little bit like passion fruit, fresh with all those seeds of the passion fruit, but it's not seeds. They are mini boba. Okay, there you go, that's our second drink. For our third drink, we are going to wait for our tea to brew, and we are nearly done with it. Let us start with our blue milk tea. 10 minutes is up, I am ready to push the plunger down of our black tea, and then I need 150 ml, I hope that I have enough here. So, 150 ml or 5 ounces of brewed black tea. Perfect. 5 ounces of brewed black tea. And because some of you prefer the milk tea using the classic recipe, which is using the non-dairy creamer, so I'm going to put, this is for 16 ounces, 2 scoops of non-dairy creamer. because my tea is still warm, I can do this. So that's it, two, two scoops of non-dairy creamer. And I like to put my golden sugar syrup. I don't really use fructose. So I'm using 30 ml of my golden sugar syrup into my milk tea. And that is the classic milk tea. So just make sure it's fully dissolved. So once again, I am going to put my sinkers into my third cup, my butterfly pea or blue milk tea. So there you go. And then put my milk tea into this cup. Okay, and we are ready to finish our drinks. Three different types of drinks. Now it's time to put the icing on the cake, the blue color. For this too, we are going to add milk, just latte. So for this, I am going to need two ounces of fresh milk for each cup. So I have here four ounces and I'm going to mix this with two ounces of my blue tea, one ounce per cup. So you go one ounce, that's for what the first cup, and then another ounce for the second cup. So there you go, this is our blue topping. It surely looks blue. And give it a bit of a stare, and I'm going to split this into this two, okay? And finally, for the milk tea, all I'm going to do is to add this. I don't need to mix this with milk. All we want is to have 
blue on top. So let me just split this into two, so two ounces each. lovely to look at drinks. Let's see whether they taste as good as they look. So let's start with milk tea. I feel like something refreshing so I'll start with milk tea. So the good thing about the butterfly pea as I have said before is that it doesn't add extra taste to your drink. So all it does is to give you that beautiful color and also the additional benefits. So let's mess this up. Well, what can I say? The taste of the black tea is very, very refreshing. And yes, using the non-dairy creamer just makes it rich and creamy. It is delicious. Mm. With a mini boba. So blue bubble tea. Next, we are going to try the blue passion fruit latte. So once again, the color of the whole drink turns into a nice color of blue. Suppose when you combine blue with yellow, this is how it turns out. Mm. Cheers. Mm. That is so refreshing. The taste of passion fruit. Lovely taste of passion fruit. Delicious. And finally, my unicorn latte, Thai Sala with butterfly pea, making it a unicorn, blue and pink. And the color of the pink is still trying to come out, so it's almost like purple at this time. This looks more like ube. So the taste will always be the taste of the sala. Let's try. Mmm. Very distinct taste of salad, so delicious. So, all these blue drinks, once they've been mixed together, you've got one is purple, the other is um, light blue, and the last milk tea is like blue green. They all look a different shade of blue. So, there you have it another series of chow blue bubble tea series using butterfly pea as the blue color. If you have any questions, do let me know. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. Stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.